How's it going guys? It's Reed Junkie here and today at Phone Lab we're going to be talking about um, data backup for your customer and basically before you do any repairs on any customer's Chromebook this is going to be what you're going to want to work on and make sure is done first so that you don't lose any of their information. So basically what you're going to do is a couple things. Um, first you want to come in here to settings and you want to scroll down here and look under advanced sync settings. And the thing you want to do under here is you just want to look over here where it says sync everything. And you want to make sure that all of their stuff is being synced to Google, to their Google account. And right here you can do that. So make sure everything is checked because really the biggest thing with Chromebook is it all syncs to the cloud. So as long as it's all syncing to the cloud, almost everything should be restored when you reset up the device if you have to wipe it, reflash firmware, do a power wash or so on. So you just want to make sure that these are all checked and everything is syncing to uh, Google correctly. Um, besides that, what I would recommend doing is coming into here and looking for the file browser on Chrome opening up the file browser on the device and you can see that part of this file browser includes the Google Drive so what you're gonna wanna do is find anything that's on the device that you can then back up technically to Google Drive so technically right now I have one thing I've downloaded to this device this could downloads could be full of things there could be all kinds of images and other things in here there's really not much on this device but you could have all these different things on here. And the easiest thing to do is just take whatever you've got, which is really for me one file, and do a copy. And then go into their drive and go in here and just see if you can anywhere say new folder. And we're going to call this backup. And then what I would do is just go ahead and, you know, put like a date, whatever it is. You know, let's just say it's that, for example, and then open that up, that folder, and then come in here and hit paste. All right, that's going to go ahead and paste that file into their drive. And actually, if you give it a second, it will sync that file to the drive, and you'll be you'll be good to go. That file will now be stored in that folder on Google Drive. If you let that sit for a while, if it's got a lot of files, let them all sync up, and um, you should be good to go. So once they're all there. That's it. You're good. Now you can wipe the device out. You've backed up their information. The other option is to take something like this right here. This is a USB thumb drive and plug that sucker in. And we can do the same thing. Just say copy and find the USB thumb drive, which is right here, and create a folder. This is just some random stuff I have on here. Create a folder in here. And you know, paste uh, paste it into this over here somewhere with the same basic basic uh, paste into folder. No, I don't want to put it there. Let's see. I'm gonna put it here. We go. I'll put it here. Yeah, paste into folder and throw it in that folder. Boom. Now you're good. You know. Um, basically, the the gist here is you want to be able to back up. The other option you have besides that, if your device has it, you know, you can put it on an SD card. Again, it should show up over here in the list if you have those things installed or plugged in. Just make sure you back up the customer's data before you do any kind of repairs to their Chromebook. But there you go, guys. That's going to wrap it up for me. Very easy to just basically sync to Google slash go ahead and put it on a thumb drive or SD card. Um, also, you can see here, a little update. Okay, that says, and I was thinking maybe we'd talk about it syncing to Google Drive, but you know, not too big a deal. If Google Drive is not in your file browser, you can also just come in here and find the application for Google Drive, which is right here, and launch that and do the backup that way. That way everything's on the cloud and they'll have it anytime they need it. That's going to wrap it up for me. Hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, keep watching below and watch out, check out these next ones down below. We'll catch you guys in the next one. We're junkie out.